And on the right. Let's start my class. Let's stand for prayer. I yes and please stay on Thank you. 
So, ang washing cycle ni mo is atun mo siya ito mong sa speed wash. Next is, if imong laban is kanilang mga andis, kanilang mga sa sudra sa imong yeah, undergarments sa siya, so imong pilion is ang delicates sa washing machine. Next is, if kanilang for cotton or blended fabrics with average soil, alika sa normal, normal na type. Next is, no detergent rinses, alika sa rinse plus steam. Then, next is, alika sa firm or dress if mga dress imuhang i-wash. Next is adjusting settings, number five. So some washing machines allow you to adjust settings such as water temperature, spin, speed, and additional options like pre-wash or extra rest. Set, set these according to your preferences and not your needs. So here, if you want to adjust the machine, if light siya or medium or heavy by if you wash then, hindi mo sa chag ikon ang wash temperature niya if cold ba siya or ganun baka warm water or hot siya. Then, cool darks or cool lights ba ang imong pag-wash sa imong mga ilagman. Labo na na yun. Next is starting the machine. So, close the washing machine lid or door and press the start button to begin the wash cycle. The machine will fill with water, agitate the clothes, drain the water, rinse the clothes, and spin them to remove excess excess water. So before you push the start, ang tapos sa imo machine machine imo na siya ni clothes para yung tuyong niya dili mo mapinsan sa tubig. Ang gusto ng clothes. Yeah. Next is adding fabric softener or bleach. So kani siya is optional na na siya. Imo siya ang butangan. Or dilawin. Okay. Sometimes, yeah, sa puti siya, ibutang kayo. Para dito, yung mga po, ang mga, ano siya? Oo. Ano siya? Ano siya? Ano siya? Ano siya? Next is monitoring the cycle. So, during the wash cycle, you can monitor the progress of the washing machine through the control panel or by observing the machine's operation. Some machines also have indicators or alarms to signal when the cycle is complete. So, kani siya, ang monitor the cycle is hindi mo siya i-monitor. Naman na, ang among washing machine is naman siya yung minutes good. So, by the 3 minutes, balik ko na 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 mo siya after. So, monitor pa. Timer ang magigamit sa pag-monitor kayo para mo lang malikod after ng mga tuan. Kaya mag-upload sa other words. Like, mag-ihig pa ka. So, muna ay monitor sa damo yung tuan. Next is removing clothes. So, once the wash cycle is complete, open the washing machine lid or door and remove the clothes promptly. Transfer them to the dryer or clothes line for drying. So, removing the clothes, ka na lang after na makumay na iyang cycle na dili mo siya kawin na nagtuyong pa siya rin yung mga kawin. So, after na ni mo, after na iyang cycle, sa after na, parang hihulong na siya ka. O, yun na yung time. O, so, yung mong i-remove na clothes kayo para yung mong i-check it. Kwan ba? Yung mong na siyang i-remove para kawin na rin mo siya sa washing machine. Next is cleaning the washing machine. So, syempre, after yung mga gabitan ng washing machine, 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 sometimes, ang panagitan ko sa ang sabun, gabitan ng pilip ko muna siya sila, may makagawa sa makina sa machine. So, yung mga gabitan siya mag-iwan after yung mga gabitan. So, sa gito yung kaya types, this could be shortening clothes, loading clothes, adding detergent, selecting wash icon, adjusting settings, Starting the machine, adding fabric softener or bleach, optional, monitoring the cycle, removing clothes, and cleaning the washing machine. So, that's the 10 procedure in operating the household equipment washing machine. The vacuum cleaner will be discussed by Christian James Kapol. Good morning, class. So, our discussion for today is all about the steps on how to use a vacuum cleaner. So, the first step is preparation. So, before we 
start vacuuming so ma prepare sa pa sa daw mga mga pagandamon before ta mag vacuum so the second is the adjusting adjusting attachment so adjusting attachment select the appropriate attachment for the surface you will be cleaning so mangita ka o kanang angay ni mong limpyohan sa pag vacuum and the third step is the turning on the vacuum so natin yung mga klase klase nga sa vacuum na ig on ig tunog na na sa vacuum and nasa switch like on off na sa kili sa vacuum so the fourth step is the vacuuming so ari na ka mag start on vacuum so while mag vacuuming ta ato na po yan kay bisod kayo di na ito magpugnan kaya nasa na ikusog ang vacuum so the fifth step is the emptying the dustbin or changing the bag so arita mag ilis na ta o vacuum bag or sa dustbin basin puno na ang sulod sa vacuum so the next step is na vigiting furniture and obstacles so wal magbak yung kaato na ilikay sa mga na mga garagaran na mga batu-batu para ilik magkuba ang ato ang bak yung so the vegetable furniture and obstacles man over the bak yung cleaner around furniture and obstacles in the room so being careful not to jump not to bump into objects or damage delicate items so The next step is the cleaning hard to reach area. So, ato ang gamit ng ano yung kapalimpyo ta sa mga hard hard to reach areas is magamit ato revise na tools na may ginang na may katika tools sa vacuum. So, ato ang gamit ng is the revise tools para ma reach na to ang mga hugaw nga na sa mga soap or sa mga hard na areas. And the next, and the eighth, and the eighth is the adjusting height setting. So every vacuum cleaner have a have a height setting. So so to to accommodate different carpet file heights or hard floor hard floor surfaces, adjust the height settings as needed for optim optimal cleaning performance. So, and the nine is the turning of the vacuum. So, di rin na mahuman atong pag vacuum. So, turning off, turning off the vacuum. So, and the lastly, or the tenth step is the maintenance. So, need ka na i-maintenance sa ato ang vacuum para iwas sa, para iwas sa mga guba sa mga parts sa vacuum. So, those are the steps on how to operate the vacuum cleaner. So, balik ko na to. So, ang the first step is the preparation. The second is the adjusting attachment. Third is the turning on the vacuum. Fourth is the vacuuming. Fifth, emptying the dustbin or changing the bag. Six is navigating furniture and obstacles. Seven is the quick cleaning hard to reach areas and uh, eight is the adjusting height settings and the nine is the turning off the vacuum and the last day or the tenth is the maintenance so that's all guys thank you so so don't be come here i have a two question for you so the first question is why is proper Why is proper handling of vacuum machine and vacuum cleaner is important? It is important to know the proper handling of vacuum cleaner and vacuum machine to, mo to make our work more efficient and easy. It is important that we have knowledge of proper handling so that we able to use, we able to proper use the machines without damaging and, and provide us a uh, healthy living. And that's all said. So, 
Question number two. For you, what are the possible impacts or influence in your life if you know the proper handling of washing machine and the vacuum cleaner? It, it makes our lives easier and... Yes, that's right. Uh, thank you. Mr. Boat. Hi, I'm Rachel Yatuzis, and I'm going to teach you how to use a washing machine. Every washing machine, especially nowadays, is different. There's ones that steam. There's more traditional ones that just, you know, go through the regular cycle as usual. And a lot of times, washing machines will last forever. I think my grandmother's washing machine is like 30 years old, no joke. Basically, you want to make sure that when you put the clothes in the washing machine, you distribute them evenly or else your washing machine will start jumping up and down making a lot of noise because it's off balance. So you want to distribute all the clothes or towels or what have you evenly. Then, depending on how full the washing machine is, you either put it on extra small load, small load, medium load, large load. Some of them even have super. You know, just glance at it and you be the best judge at that as to whether you want to put you know, which setting you want to put it on, how much water you want in it. Read the labels of your clothing to decide if you want to wash it on hot water, cold water. Most things can be washed on cold water. Something that's extremely dirty, you may want to wash on hot water, but l read the label first because some materials are much more sensitive to the temperature of the water. If you use um, powder detergent, and even if you use liquid detergent, a lot of times while when you turn the washing machine on, while it's filling up, you want to add the detergent so it'll start bubbling up and then you put the clothes in. Close the lid and let it do its job. Once it stops and the clothes have been spun dry, just take them out, hang them up, pop them in the dryer, you know, whichever way you choose to dry them. I'm Rachel Yatuzis and that is how you use a washing machine. Pull cord out of canister to desired length. The cord will not rewind until the cord rewind button is pushed. Plug the polarized power cord into a 120 volt outlet to rewind push cord rewind button. Hold the plug while rewinding to prevent damage or injury from the moving cord. Lower wand from upright position by pressing on the handle release pedal. Select a pile height setting by pressing the height adjustment pedal on the rear of the power main. The pile height setting shows on the indicator. The power level selection turns on both the canister and power main. The button cycles through high, medium, and low power levels. Carpet and bare floor turns the power main motor on for cleaning of carpets and off for cleaning of bare floors. Carpet and bare floor mode will be indicated on the handle display. Off turns off the canister and power main motors. Explain on how to operate the washing machine. Like 
So now let's proceed to my quiz. So I will be giving you a paper here. This is the quiz questions. So yeah. So are you going to answer that you pass in your sakua after ten minutes? Okay.